Well, both of these products have a big fit in a no-till producer's uh, fertility program. Number one, when we look at phosphorus, phosphorus availability to a no-till farmer is a big concern because they're planting in colder soils due to the amount of trash and residue that they leave on the surface. So phosphorus availability is, is difficult for a no-till grower to achieve. By adding a VL phosphorus fertilizer, either to his dry application or to his liquid starter fertilizer application, the avail will increase the availability of that phosphorus two to three times to get that plant off to a faster, healthier start. Through tissue sampling, we've been able to prove the effectiveness of avail treated phosphorus, where we can raise tissue sample phosphorus in V6 corn plants about 25 to 40 percent. And that is huge to a grower because that ear, a uh, number of rows of kernels on an ear is being determined at V6, and phosphorus nutrition at that point in time is very critical in determining how many rows of kernels that ear will put on. On the nitrogen side, the Nutrisphere in, when you're a no-till grower, of course you're leaving a lot of things uh, subject to mother nature. And one of them is your nitrogen. Whether you spread, broadcast spread urea or you use 32% or 28% nitrogen as your nitrogen source, you're, you're uh, putting out there with the elements in hopes that you get a, a rain to incorporate it and get that nitrogen stabilized. The Nutrisphere N technology is such that it can be added to your urea fertilizer or to your UAN nitrogen, which gives you the satisfaction of mind in knowing that that nitrogen will not volatilize on you at the surface. It's protected indefinitely until you have that rainfall occur. And once you do have the rainfall occur, that's where the other benefit of Nutrisphere N uh, comes in, and that is its ability to keep that nitrogen in the ammonium form for a much longer period of time and not allow it to convert to nitrate nitrogen and leach out through your subsurface soil. Uh, this is a big benefit. We've seen increased yields by uh, using Nutrisphere in on no-till acres uh, in the neighborhood of 14.9 bushels per acre on urea treated fertilizers and about 10.7 bushels per acre on UAN treated fertilizers. And this is over 200 different uh, research trials, university and private industry research trials all compiled into one. The key, the <clears throat> one thing that a no-till farmer really uh, needs to focus on when it comes to nutrient management is making sure that you get the right rate, the right time, and the right place. And one of the things that these products will do is allow you more flexibility in the way you apply your nutrients. Uh, a lot of times no-till farmer is pretty much regulated down to where he's got to apply it uh, you know, close to planting or he's got to put it on just as soon as the crop emerges or with a burn down program. And what these products will do is allow you more flexibility. You can actually put your phosphorus fertilizer on in the fall if you're broadcasting a dry material. Uh, I highly recommend a starter fertilizer program for any no-till farmer and a starter fer fertilizer program that's either in a two by two or in furrow with the seed, including a veil in that operation. Our uh, research has shown that uh, we can increase yields with a veil in that uh, starter fertilizer 7.5 bushels to the acre and this is over many different trials. It's a combination of in furrow applications and, and two by twos all rolled into one, but that is a very uh, significant number uh, to get that uh, crop off to a healthy start. It's proof that we do. Uh, and that's over 150 different university and uh, private research trials that this number has been compiled on. I think the other thing that uh, a no-till farmer needs to make sure that he's got in line is whatever source of nitrogen you're gonna use, you need to protect it because uh, the regulations are coming and you're going to be allowed to not use as much in the future so you've got to put on less and get more efficient with it. We've got growers that don't till right now that we are working with directly on farms that are getting as low as a half a, half a, a pound of in per bushel of yield and that is like phenomenal when the university recs are at 1.2 so there's a many efficiencies that you can create for yourself by looking at these stabilizers and uh, putting them in the right place at the right time and taking advantage of what they can do to help you.